I am Juanita England Moran. Incidentally, I was born in Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, I came to Lebanon when I was four years old. Um, my father, um, his father was James Frederick England, and he was the blacksmith here in Lebanon. Um, he, d he was also a member of the concert, Lebanon Concert Band. And he was, they were marching down the street about where our post office is. And uh, he dropped suddenly as the band was marching along. And uh, Jess Easley of Lebanon told me that when he was 27, he went out and he helped to pick my grandfather up who had one heart attack and he was gone at age 54. My grandfather was a wonderful man, humanitarian. Anybody needed a problem solved or a handout, he was happy to do so for them. And um, I was probably about three uh, when the word came. And uh, so we came for his funeral. And I was told that his his funeral, um, the length of the funeral was about two miles long. He was very loved by the people here. And his office, or his uh, blacksmith shop was on Madison Avenue, about where um, the lawyers, there in the middle of the block, that used to be where his blacksmith stood. but. I was standing there, three years old, looking up at a ladder that went up to the second floor. And he said, oh no, honey, you can't go up there. That's where the men box. Yeah. He had a boxing ring up <laughs> And so that's all I can remember, really, about him when he was alive, because I was only three. Well, then, when I was four, my dad, we lived in Springfield at the time, and uh, my uh, grandmother asked my gr dad if he would please come to Lebanon and help her with settling the, the blacksmith shop and all the, everything about it. So that's when we moved to Lebanon. And I wouldn't live any place else. This is a wonderful town. When we first came to Lebanon, we lived down I believe that was 2nd Street, down at the end toward Garfield, over in that area. And uh, I remember that house. And I go by once in a while just to look at it, the ho first house we lived in when we came to Lebanon. And, uh, but, but the Easleys lived up the street, and the Hoax lived up the street. And uh, I wasn't allowed to wander out of my yard because I was just a little four-year-old. And, and uh, from there, we moved out on Bennett Street. And I could look across the field, and that was over toward the old cemetery. When I first got married, I was five days, 18. And I was still in high school. But World War II came along, and uh, the young man that was my fiance was drafted, and, uh, but he didn't want to leave unless we got married. But he said, but you've got to be 18. And I was still in high school. So we waited five days afterwards. So we were married on January the 20th, 1943 was when I graduated. And then he so, little 18-year-old me, I had to board a train here in Lebanon, and then um, it, it was a troop train, and uh, I uh, was about the only girl on there, young woman, and all the rest of them were soldiers, and I was scared to death, of course, 
and uh, they'd reach, <laughs> reach out <laughs> and tease me and so forth and so on. And I had to walk through nine cars to get to the dining room on that train. And I wouldn't live any place else. This is a wonderful town.